Uh, good morning, everyone. Um, yes, how are you guys all feeling? Little bit from here? Good, wonderful. Okay, so my name is Moses Adeyemi. This is Tiwa, and we're from Social Outcome. We've been partnered, we were partnered as part of the Culture Exchange. Um, so I'm guessing a few people know about Social Outcome already, but just for those that don't know, Social Outcome is an organization that works with young people to start their own social enterprises. That's guided, oh, thank you. That's guided by their own lived experience. I, for one, Moses, um, I was one of the founding members a whole seven years ago. So I might not look like a young person, but I was. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was. Um, and I started on my own organization, like I said, seven years ago. Um, and I've been fortunate enough to kind of take my journey, not just in my community, but across the whole, com um, the whole country, and um, worked in loads of universities, prisons, and local authorities all around the country. So I'm an uh, uh, active testament of the amazing work that Social Arc um, does. Hi, um, Moses said his surname, so I'm going to say mine too. My name is Tiwa King, um, and I'm so excited to be here today, guys. Hi, hi, that was lovely. Um, I want to tell you guys a bit about the Social Arc, um, sorry, the Culture Exchange Program. Um, I'm part of Social Arc. Um, I joined uh, about a year and a half ago, and it's been a, an amazing roller coaster ever since. I've met a few people in this room before because I've also been one of the grantees of Foundation Future for London. Um, so thank you to you all. But I really want to talk to you today about the Culture Exchange Program 2023. Go on, say a woot woot. Is that good? <laughs> It's a UK-wide program um, linking young people, arts, um, and cultural organizations and communities across the UK. We have worked um, with eight partners, um, nine including ourselves, um, and it's been incredible. Five of them have been grassroots organizations from East London who have actually come up through Social Arc, and three have been external, and that you're going to hear from them yourself later on. Through this exchange through this collaboration. Um, we've been embracing the power of lived experience, diverse heritage and culture, um, and shaping a new collaborative way of learning. I really want to touch on, though, why we were so delighted to win this tender. Um, everyone give a massive shout out to Lisa Stepanovich. Where are you? <laughs> She is sitting pretty over there because when you've got, when you've got leaders like us, you can sit down. Um, but she is incredible. We'll talk more about her later. Um, but we were so delighted to win this tender because it gave an opportunity um, for five grassroots organizations who have come up through Social Arc, who started literally from the grassroots level, to come together as equal partners and to co-design this program. This is what we call and believe um, is an equitable collaboration of grass, grassroots working class organizations explore, exploring what arts and culture and heritage and community building means to them. Sorry I'm so tongue-tied, it's because the watermelon juice is that good. It's got me a bit dizzy. Are you sure you don't put something in it? No? <laughs> no, it's good. Um, but yeah, that is why we were so delighted um, to win this tender. I can say from first-hand experience, being brought on um, as part of the alumni and then becoming a leader to be able to come together and um, to have my voice heard and to see what culture and heritage and art means to me, as well as other organisations, and now externally out of London too, has been a really incredible experience. And I'm really happy to experience what um, real collaboration and equity means to us. Uh just wanted to add to that. So the partners were responsible and uh, responsible for the young people's personal development through one-to-one -one mentoring and paid work experiences that I ran alongside the weekly Zoom sessions. We want to talk a little bit about some of the organizations that we've got here. Some of them are in the room today, some aren't. We have Calling for Greatness CIC. We've got Alfie over there. Uh, we've got Truce and Train. We've got Scaped. Um, X Conversation, who you just heard from, <coughs> Salute, who are in the room, Strive to Thrive, Lancashire, who are in the room, and Birmingham says no. Just like Moses said, they've been responsible and co-leading with us on this project, which has been absolutely incredible. Um, Strive to Thrive is from Preston, Lancashire, I just mentioned. Alfie is up in um, Sheffield. Thank you, Moses. Um, and then we have Birmingham says no from Birmingham. All right, so we're all... Oh, how do I do this then? <laughs> um, so we've had um, nine partners and um, 50 young people accessing paid work experience, 25 young people access £1,000 in business development grants and 150 people access lifelong learning opportunities. 
What we want to say more about this, though, um, is like nine partners include social arc, but the 50 young people accessing paid work experience was really, really important to us. This is the young participants that are on the program, um, young participants that we have um, been able to collaborate with from the external organisations in Birmingham, Preston and Sheffield, and young people um, from other places too that have come on as photographers and videographers and got a chance to showcase their skills and maybe even get a reference for the first time for the incredible work and creative lens that they're doing it from. We saw this too as a cultural exchange. We're going to talk more about the film that we're going to be creating out of this. Give a, give a shout out to Marlon and lens um, but even that has been a cultural exchange when we went up to um, um, to Sheffield we had a, a videographer from over there and we got to see life he's experienced through his camera lens so we had someone from London someone from Sheffield both shooting but both doing it through their own lenses and what means something to them it's been incredible um, we also have been really innovative actually and we've been working together to give the young people exactly what they need um, this has ended up ended up in 25 young people accessing a thousand pounds in business development grants this wasn't actually originally part of the bid this is what co-design looks like we realized that as they were sharing what culture and heritage um, and what it means to be working class where they live what it means to them we realized that these young people had ideas ideas that matter, ideas that they believe will shape their community. And that has ended up in them wanting to create projects and us saying, do you know what, we need to do this. We need to back them. We need to put some money where our mouths and hearts are and help them get this off the ground. So that's been an incredible part of this. We also have the 150 people accessing lifelong, lifelong learning opportunities. And I personally believe it's going to be a lot more than that. We've already sh um, um, visited all these cities and we've been having great conversations um, and exchanging skills and ideas that are going to go way past this program. So... I think that number is going to change. We'll let you know if it does go higher. So Moses, what have we done so far? Um, so far, <laughs> like I said, you've you've covered so much already. But on a day, on a weekly basis, um, we've had a combination of face-to-face -face and uh, face-to-face -face sessions and Zoom um, weekly sessions that we explore the arts, leadership, and culture. Um, next slide, please. Here we are. Um, so as well as um, the leaders within Social Arc taking some sessions along with Lisa as well, we've also had the three amazing guests that have come in um, on certain weeks. I can't remember what week it was exactly that came in, but we've had the legendary David McQueen. He ca Ooh, Yeah, oh, big up David. he got fans <laughs> in the room. Um, yeah, and uh, Mr. David McQueen came in. Um, he'd done a session on leadership, and I think every single person in that session really took a lot away from that, including myself. I was just meant to be facilitating, but I was there with my pen and paper, taking notes, taking gems, because he is absolute legend. And we've also had the legendary um, Dr. Neil Prem from Cambridge University. Uh, yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, he came in and he done a session on the power of peer-to-peer -peer coaching and finding your passion. That was really, do you remember that? That was, that that was, was incredible. That, yeah, that was, really, um, really good. Just to say, you know when you think you got things figured out and then someone that doesn't know you say, um, kind of say a bunch of keywords and it starts to trigger stuff. I think this was what was important about these particular sessions because no matter how much you think you got to figure it figured out, someone from an outside perspective can always see what you can't see. And I think that's why the importance of this session was. This was meant to be for the young people, but like I said, I took a lot from it, so thank you. Um, and also, last but not least, we've had Marissa, Marissa McCollum, McCollum sorry, um, <laughs> who delivered a session on well-being, confidence. But with that session, right, so if you think Zoom, you're thinking um, you've just got someone speaking to the camera. If anyone in the room kind of back me on this, um, it wasn't that basic. It wasn't that boring. Um, she literally had everybody standing up, sitting down, closing her eyes, and really kind of like being in the room, yep. um, not just looking at a screen. Um, guys, am I lying? Thank you. Do you know what I mean? So imagine being on Zoom, right? She says, all right, cool. T get off your chair, stand up, close your eyes, visualize this, all of that. And, you know, we were all doing it. Uh, it sounds cheesy, but when you're in it, I think we were all captured in the, in the Zoom session. And like I said, we had tears, we had emotions, and it was just, it was very, very real. Um, I think we spent a lot of time building rapport amongst ourselves within the group. So by the time we were doing sessions like that, everybody was fully engaged, fully committed. And I think that's what 
that's what you want and that's what made it effective and that's why every single person that started the program finishes the program and I feel like a lot of organizations struggle with engagement all the way through I think this lasted how many months was the whole is the whole project the whole year right yeah yeah and you know having young people keeping them engaged week in week out you're only able to do that with powerful sessions with incredible people like this I think I should also add, uh, Moses, that what I what was a massive takeaway from me um, is, I mean, I'm guys, I'm born into a Nigerian family. My dad's a Nigerian. Ooh. Any Nigerians in the house? Yeah. Okay. Um, so oh, you know that we, when we come out of the womb, you are expected to go to Oxford or Harvard <laughs> University or Cambridge. Um, uh, that wasn't my fate at the end of the day, but I think what was really special um, was bringing a group of young people together who maybe on any other day may not be able to access someone like Dr. Neil Prem from Cambridge University coming into the room um, and having that, that, that level of thought and education and just and feeling like it was for them and that they were worth that. People like David McQueen, if you know him, he is incredible. Um, and and um, yeah, and Marissa McCallum, they, they haven't had that before. So to have that in the room that day and have access to this, um, I almost wanted to email him and say, can I have some kind of certificate saying that I had a talk from someone from Cambridge <laughs> University? Um, but it was really, really valuable um, in a reciprocal way. So I think that was really, really good to mention. Um, well, so you've heard a lot from me and Moses now. It's been amazing project managing it, and he's going to say the same about the facilitation. But I think... Now it's enough from us. You have to hear about um, the amazing organizations that have been a part of this and have made it what it is. So first we're gonna call up Shamuna and Jay from Salute. Yeah.